King Charles is likely to foot the private security bill of the Duke of York after he refused to do the same for his son, Prince Harry, it has been reported. Prince Andrew, who will be stripped of of his taxpayer-funded Metropolitan Police protection, would continue to benefit from the same level of protection. The move is expected to trigger Prince Harry's ire who made the same requests repeatedly when he and Meghan stepped back from their duties as members of the royal family. Under the new arrangements, Prince Andrew's armed personal protection officers would be replaced by private security guards at an estimated cost of up to £3 million a year. The King will keep paying the bill, as the Duke of York has no declared public income. Such decision will likely provoke anger on the other side of the pond, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made it clear they felt exposed and in danger without security after leaving the royal family. The Sussex made the remarks in their bombshell Netflix docuseries, which hit the streaming giant last week. The fresh royal row exploded into public in the Netflix trailer where the pair appeared to suggest their security was withdrawn before they left for a better life in North America. The 90-second clip suggested that part of their decision to step away from royal duties and move across the Atlantic was taken due to a pressing concern for their safety, with Harry saying, I wonder what would have happened to us had we not got out when we did. Meghan then claims our security was being pulled, everyone in the world knew where we were, before Harry's voiceover describes leaving Britain on a jet as the freedom flight. It is understood the couple signed multi-million dollar deals with Spotify and Netflix to fund their own private security arrangements after leaving the royal family. King Charles' decision not to fund the couple's security bills prompted Prince Harry to bring legal action against the Home Office. The Duke of Sussex is still challenging the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures Revet, after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protection when visiting Britain. Prince Harry's long-running legal battle against the Home Office's decision reportedly cost the taxpayers more than £235,600 to date, according to a Freedom of Information Act request by Metro. Co.uk Britain's former head of counterterrorism, Neil Bashu, gave credence to the couple's claims when he said that Meghan had faced disgusting and very real threats to her life while the couple lived in the UK. The Duke of York, for his part, had written to the Home Office and Scotland Yard to complain about losing his police protection, reports say. Prince Andrew was embroiled in a judicial case over allegations of sexual assault that have cost him his HRH title and entitlement to taxpayer-funded bodyguards. He eventually agreed to a financial settlement with Virginia Giffer, his sex abuse accuser. While he is understood to have enjoyed the benefits of police protection since then, the deal is believed to be coming to an end. Despite having lost his HRH titles and some royal privileges, Prince Andrew is expected to join fellow royals at their annual pre-Christmas lunch on Tuesday at Windsor Castle. Read next.